All right, so here we go. Um, what I want you guys to do is show you how to factor when we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 3. This ain't number You're going 2 times yeah. 6. This is number 6, right? All right, so remember, ladies and guys, remember when we were doing this to help us out, remember we're trying to factor, so we're trying to write this as a product of two factors, right? And what we notice, first of all, can we factor anything out of this? No, they don't no. share anything else. So what we do is we create our kind of thing here to help us re revolve this, which we can do A times C and then B. And we're going to want to find out which two numbers multiply to give us our A times C. So A times C is 2 times negative 6, which is negative, negative 12. 12. Negative 12. 12. 3 is going to add. So what you guys need to do is think about all the factors that multiply to give you negative 12. And if you guys are getting stuck with this, just write them down, right? A lot of you guys I see struggle with this, but I don't see you write down the numbers that multiply to give you negative 12. 3 times negative 12 4. Come on. Come on, Matt. But if you do 12 minus 1, it's prime. Come on, Diago. <laughs> Are those all, all the possible combinations that multiply yeah, but they all add up to 3. Okay, so let's look at it. Do any of these add up to give you negative 3? No. 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 So therefore, we can simply say that this is going to be a prime polynomial. Mm. Meaning it cannot be factored evenly as we worked it. Okay? There you go. Well, that's kind of going back to your numbers. You just got to make sure you...